What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back again with another pickup video. Um it's gonna be a mix of comics, DVDs, a CD, and some stickers. Stickers you'll find out what they're from and what they're from. Um hope everyone's alright. Um Yeah, uh, me personally in this river I'm starting to like, jump of the hut. It's not fun. Um but I hope everyone's all good. Um, but yeah, it's it's too of my liking. But I thought, yeah, I thought I'd do a pickup video. Um, as a little stack sort of building, I thought, you know, I'd better, I'd better do some for pickup. So that's what I thought I'll do. Um, I'm starting with it quick. Um, I'm talking about the stickers. Um, people that obviously might have known or kept up my channel the past few weeks. I, went, I went to Comic Con recently. Um, and one of the days I wandered around, um, was it all as well as films as well advertising was the Minion, Minions film, um, I'm the name correct, Minions at the Rise of Grow, um, and they sort of gave away a pack of stickers, so I sort of got a pack of, or three packs and sort of opened them up, uh, on, so I won't go into it there. Through, through, some none. Together, anything is possible. Minion. Um, that one is. Find you in a minion. Some weird loves man. Yeah. So look, um, they were obviously out of the full Comic Con. Um, Oh, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, not much really to say about that. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll do one single CD. I'll do, I, I want to pick up more CDs, but it was it on, I did on different cherry shops so they'll be obviously cheaper than you. Um, it's, I think the last time about two, three months we'll pick up not including this one three three days. So it's not been it's not been good. Um I wanted albums or CDs or bands I like or know of. And that I know I might enjoy. Uh this is one obviously that I know of. Listen to the album before, enjoy it, and that's Art Arctic Monkeys. Um Favourite Worst Nightmare. Um was the songs like Brainstorm Teddy Picker, These Are Dangerous, Old Year, Old Year, Break, Five or Five. It's, it's a good album for you if you like Arctic Monkeys and uh, that sort of music. So that's that. Uh, next one is a, a Blu ray. This people may, may not know that I don't really do Blu ray. Um, I really know what I've got prior to this. Any of my Kevin Smith ones and the one that Goldtooth sent me. Uh, but apart from that, not really many, but this one was uh, one of my dad's mates, which is what we can rubbish. This was in one of the bags, and my, and like, he, my dad's mate went, Is that any good for you? And he went, No, not for me, but it didn't be the same Bill would have. Um, and that is Anchorman 2, the Legends continues. Um, it's, this is the only sort of double disc one, so it's got the pretty much the extended version. Fuck it, it's probably taking it out of me. And I'll do the theatrical version, so there's two versions in that. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of the Anchorman films. I don't like them, but I don't hate them. I really sort of feel like I need to sit down and watch properly. Um, so at some point, I'll put, put the first one, I'll put the first one on Blu ray. The sort of match, um, there's that. Um, I've got some films, I've got some DVDs. Um, oh, I don't want to do this in. Do, do these two first. Um, I think I picked my last, I think I showed it my last. Fuck you! Pick up this video that, um, I've picked up these sort of. Digit, 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 digitally, fucking hell. Basically, 
Like, I think the late night of the some of the market versions of the Star Wars, Star Wars film. I picked up episode two to three. So I said two to the in front of me. So I picked up these two to go with it. Uh, one and two. These were both actually in a multi pack product. So they both got in, not in the sales. Uh, but I think these, the outer box was, it, that was all shitty. So I sort of them loose. So. Um, the reason I'm getting these is it's the Aussie, the slightly different version to like newer ones, so I wanted to get these. This is another Star Wars. Um, uh, I'll do this one. Um, I think I'll do these ones. So I'll do these ones first. Um, like the minion stickers, um, I'm on, I'm on a little bit of minion. Pick and it's all I want to build up all sort of uh kids, not kids, that sounds a bit creepy. These sort of my animated se se series, which are kid films, but was the also I like to believe adults and drama as much as kids, especially these. Um, so I picked up Suspicable Me, the first one, the <coughs> the third one that I don't know about the first one. This one, oh, the first one doesn't do three mini movies. This also includes all new mini movies. Um, practice is singing along. That's quite fun. And uh, fuck you. And minions. I don't know. Um, Mini movies. Apparently, it's Jingle Bells Minion style, which I reckon we uh, a barrel laughs to watch or to do. But yeah, yeah, I think a bit, a bit I like because my dad's ex, her son loved. That was basically loved anything minions. Like the fact that to him, to me, he was my rule of minion. I think that's the reason I'm picking, I'm picking these up. I mean, yeah. I think mean, you can't sort of, it's, I don't understand why people that like to just talk to you wish, but I think there's a whole barrel of life, and I don't think you can really hate them. Fuck you. Not so about you, guys. Uh, one lonely TV box set. People might have seen it. One lonely TV box set. People may or may not know that I love my TV box sets. So that's why I picked up this, and it's season nine of Friends. Um... I feel about do will take about half the box sets now, so that's what the collection. Uh, four more films. These these are sort of I'm not trying to my sort of classic films. Classic films I've seen I've seen in the past, but for example, why have I not these in my in my collection? Um, two of them I picked up, which I'll show you in a minute. I picked up firstly. I one in my collection, I didn't because of classics and, and there's a sto story art behind them, a recent story which I will explain. Some people may already know it, but I'm going to rehash the story. First one, first one is the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I keep, I kept this, uh, I prefer this version of the original. Um, I kept seeing um, the remake. I hate the remake. Um, obviously, if, you, if you're young enough where that was your first Willy Wonka film, then you probably enjoy it more than I do. But for me, it's, it's the original all the way. Uh, this is from a surprise I did not have. Um, strangely, um, Goonies. Um, Classic film, and that looks how they have it. Um, the two films are there's a little story behind them, um, which I'm going to rehash. Well, I think I've said it the last couple of videos, I think, probably. Um, the reason I went to my drum, some may know, some may not know, and I was the 
on the last day of the assistant to Zach Dalligan, who played Billy in Gremlins, um, which then sort of spurred me on to buy Gremlins 1 and 2 on DVD. Films I've seen. Um, but I just did not have a connection. Um, so I know a lot of people... I, a lot of people don't class it as a horror, so it's sort of not really scary, scary. I know some people class it as a Christmas film. A lot of people that met Zach on the Sunday, they kept saying, no, we, we, watched, we watched the film at Christmas time with our kids, it's that never, I'm like, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, last three items are comic books. Um... Yeah, uh, so I've got Star Trek, Star Trek The Movie War, issue one. Uh, this one I picked up this morning, and it's Shadow War Omega 1. I think it, because the one thing I'll do, I'll check the end. So I'll confirm if there is that second issue. Um, but like most books, this sort of it, this. Oh, I've got to find it now. Uh, that. I'll be there. That's an epilogue. That's a change in Dark Price number one. But the main sort of story continues in Batman. No, sorry. Back, like Robin number 15. Which is annoying because it's they've put me this take over my face up. They sort of make this sort of continuous story that I'm enjoying and putting on books I might not I'm not interested in or might not be able to afford. It's like it's pointless. Um the last book, the last pick up of the video I picked up because Enjoyed the first issue. I think I have shown it recently, and that is Poison Ivy number one. But sorry, number two. Mm, um, I love. I think I love the Poison Ivy character. Um, it. You got to look. It, it's strategy. She is sort of. Who's. She does sort of seem very sexualized in a sense. I don't know why, but I don't know if, just, if it's just me thinking that. Um, or what, but it's... But as a whole, I enjoy the story. Uh, but it's nice that she sort of... The last two books that I've read with Poison Ivy in, this and the... The Holly Quinn Eat Bang Kill Tour. Um, she's basically being a lesbian, uh, which I thought it's being a red blooded man, quite like, but at the same time, it's sort of. If I was, if I was a les female lesbian, it'd be nice to have a sort of rep rep representation in a book. So, yeah, so yeah they're my pick ups. Um, Hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry, it's no nothing to do with gaming related. My apologies. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, speak to you guys very soon. Ciao for now.